Welcome, dear friends, to Tales of Gen X Terror, where we unpack the apocalyptic dread underneath the skin of late Cold War pop culture. I'm Neil, and I am the middle ground between light and shadow. So uh, if you didn't notice, uh, I'm a big fan of board games. I pretty much always have been. Like, since I grew up, I would buy them. I mean, I didn't get to play them much because, like, uh, I'm a lonely kid. That's... Uh, that's an ongoing theme, I think, in my life. I got into board games a little bit more, or I, I got into playing board games a little bit more when I hit college, because there were a bunch of people who were also looking for things to do. It was stuff like Illuminati or Diplomacy. Talisman was super hot. And one of the games that uh, kind of predates all, uh, a lot of those is a little game that we call Nuclear War. Nuclear War is a tongue-in-cheek card game about dropping those megatons designed by engineer, uh, aerospace engineer and inventor Douglas Malawicki uh, in the 60s. It was published by Flying Buffalo. Um, it's kind of a cool game where players go, take that, take that, and then hopefully at the end you do not die altogether. But that's Nuclear War. In case you were wondering, unlike other board game related videos. This is not a review. It is not a an instructional video. This is more about me digging into the touchy feelies that I've got about um, dark humor and how we use it to stay sane. So I want to take a look at the 50th anniversary edition, which I have got here. I want to look at the box art. It's by Steve Crompton. Got some cool stuff on it. On one side, we've got the war folks, a big tornado above them. On the other side, we've got the peaceniks, the uh, protesters. We've got a little old lady with a sign that says ban the bomb. It's a great capsule for the tone of this game. We've got this badass spinner. This is basically when a bomb hits, does the fallout kill even more people? So we've got our population, anywhere from a million to 25 million people on each card. Basically, population is kind of like your money in this game, or I should say, the stuff you don't want to lose. And in this game, a million people is pretty much the least amount of losing. So, you know, pretty dark. Then we have our, our warheads, anywhere from 10 megatons to 100 megatons, and 10 megatons takes out 2 million pipples. Uh, and 100 megatons takes out 25 million people. And we have, of course, our delivery systems. We've got anywhere from our tiny baby Polaris missiles to, to Saturn missiles. Those each carry one warhead, either 10, or me 10 megatons to 100 megatons. Then we have these bombers that can carry multiple warheads and just drop them all over the place. And we've got these cool secrets. Like we have this secret, which is basically war protest. Two million of the enemy's hippie pacifists protest nuclear war and defect to your country. This one seems pretty timely. It is a super germ. This is in the original game. It's a super germ. The results of a blunder in your enemy's germ warfare experiments destroys 25 million of his own people. And then this one looks like a, a modern update. Protesters refuse to get vaccinations. You lose 5 million of your people due to polio, rubella, and measles. This game was dark. And it was funny. And it was darkly funny. And in some ways, it was one of the... It was a way for us to take stuff that was deeply terrifying and laugh at it and figure out how to survive and keep going. If this seems like the kind of game for you, I'm going to leave a promotional link in the description. In the meantime, I want to know what you're thinking about. If you've got something to share, uh, leave it in the comments, as well as your recommendations for other eschatonic effluvia for me to check out. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you when the other shoe drops.